saved this as a message. Anyway, welcome to your winter job. I'll be your guide during your week-long stay at the venue. Now it's my turn to nag you with legal issues and things like that. <coughs> uh, sorry for that, I've had a cold for a few days. This season sure hits hard at the moment. Continuing with what I was saying, I must give you a series of instructions so that you can become familiar with this place and its rules with everything you should know as a security guard. Don't be afraid. I've been in your place multiple times, actually. Especially because it's mine. Yes, I'm Look, I'm sorry I couldn't attend your job interview. I was busy with some economic affairs of the place. Uh, if that reminds me that the place is mainly powered by a generator during the night, that does not usually last long. <coughs> As a security guard, you have to take certain precautions, such as, uh... Honestly, I never understood why these robots operate out of the ordinary at night. They behave weird. Uh, you know, they move during the night around the premises, and for some strange reason, they tend to go into your office too much. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I know this can be a bit hard to explain, but basically you have two doors on your sides that you can close so that the animatronics don't catch you. What? Ah, right. Uh, I, uh, I forgot to tell you that the animatronics generally tend to be aggressive during the night shift. It is possible that their operation fails and they end up mistaking you for an endoskeleton. They are supposed to have a facial recognition system, but it fails somehow at night, so that's why it's important that you use the doors, so that, you know, the animatronics don't catch you and don't end up putting you in a side of soup. <coughs> oh, God. Uh, in case closing the doors doesn't work, which would be too strange and curiously convenient, Use the mask that should make them go without a problem. Uh, unless the mask has some problem, I think it's infected with some type of highly radioactive gas or chemical. Also, that, due to its age, it can become uncomfortable and suffocating if you're wearing it for too long. Meanwhile, you'll only fulfill your work day, at least for this day. The animatronics should not be a problem. If you're sure that you can take this job, there should not be a letter resigned tomorrow, by the way. If... Oh, God, no. If something happens to your body, Fazbear Entertainment will not take care of dismemberment, mutilation, or murder during the night shift. That was in the contract you read. <laughs> uh, I think my time's up. Uh, take care of the local energy. Don't let them break your legs, and uh, have a good night. Good luck, and see you tomorrow.